Dear Mom, you're doing great. Even though I'm far from home, I know you're making the world a better place. I bet Ranger is ready for the day. I can already see the smiles he will bring about today. This is my mom, Lori McKechnie. She's a resident of Anoka, Minnesota, and each week she visits local care facilities with her therapy dog. Oh, my name is Jimmy, by the way. Hello. I am currently living in California, working as an actor. But that's enough about me. Let's get back to my amazing mom and those incredible therapy dogs. I did happen to see a golden retriever, it happened to be, at Mercy Hospital and observed for a while and then questioned the owner and found out about therapy dogs. And then since I had recently retired, I thought I could do that. Not all heroes wear capes. Matter of fact, I don't think my mom has ever worn a cape. Right, Mom? <laughs> mom is my true hero. But Ranger and Lily, they wear the red bandana. They are truly superheroes. And today, Ranger is the hero of Mercy Hospital. the best place possible. I always say that this hospital is just where miracles happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, we won't keep you, but I'll be back. You know I will. I always say that, okay? Mm -hmm. We sure love you. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. Oh, Ranger today. Ranger is so soft. Oh, you got a smile. I can't say, you know, I mean, Especially, uh, like I say, the, the bigger dogs like this here, because they're just so mellow and, you know, and, and I think yeah, they're bigger because they're got bigger hearts and, you know, that's, that's what they are. Just, I love that. Mm hmm You know, uh, I remember that buddy, that, that Australian Shepherd there, I'd be running around the house, you know, doing this, doing that, trying to catch up on everything, you know, and he'd be laying in the sun just watching me, you know. Couple times, I think he got up and just shook his head. You know, <laughs> like you're a stupid human. Why don't you just enjoy the day like me? You yeah, know, right? and stuff. We could learn a lot from that. Oh yes, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, I say it to other people, but uh, it's the truth. I think uh, the dog saved my marriage there. You know. Really? Yeah. My wife's upset with me. <laughs> yeah. She'll, she'll take the dog out for a walk. The bond between dogs and humans is undeniable. There's a force that's hard to describe. Dogs are pure love. No judgment, no conditions, no strings attached. happiness and relief and soothing um, for the people that come up to us. Many times it's people who are visiting in the hospital and they have a loved one that's maybe not in the best shape and so it, it really helps them. They're missing their dogs. Um, we often will get permission and go and follow those people up to see their loved ones which is very helpful. So a lot of joy and happiness and then um, we do we do get called in because we live close to Mercy to end of life situations, times when dogs are needed for whatever reason. And so then there's some anxiety and sadness and that type of thing, so. People 
often seek care in many ways, exercising, eating healthy, or taking medication. Well, therapy dogs are no different. They too provide strong healing benefits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although portable dogs have a, a, their place, you know? I don't have any portable dogs right now. They're all yeah. big. <laughs> yeah. It's the following day, and my mom is off to Walker Plaza, a senior care living community in Anoka, Minnesota. This time with my girl Lily. <laughs> It makes me feel good because that tail starts to go and, he, and particularly Lily. She seems to know that we have a connection. <laughs> That's true. She's a beautiful little lady. And I also have no problem remembering her name because it was my mother-in-law's name, Lily. <laughs> Sweet Pea. Yeah, we know what we have a dog named Sweet Pea. Well, at Walker, there are some so many lovely people, and a lot of them can't have their dogs anymore. So bringing a dog in, um, they just gravitate to the dogs, and so that I think it's just not only is it the dog, but just another human being to talk to and tell their stories to. You go ahead. Hello again. Are you having any? Therapy dog here right now. <laughs> oh, do you? I'll call you later then. Oh, okay. Um, Give that little dog a hug. I like little doggies. Okay. We have a couple people there, and and I knock on the door with trepidation because I know it's going to be 45 minutes before I get out, and I think, oh, uh, maybe I could have seen a lot more people, but that one person I made a difference for. Good morning, Walker Methodist Plaza. This is Doreen. How may I help you? Oh, they've always been happy. Even if there's a resident who is kind of shy about animals, they're still happy to see them come in. And it's, it's something different. And it still um, just gives people some comfort and some love. Once we certified through Therapy Dog International, they have to wear their red bandana with the insignia on it every visit. Um, and it's, it's very interesting because if I get the red bandanas out, both Lily and Ranger are just frantic to get their heads into that bandana because they know what's going to happen. It's like a cape. I mean, they, people see them and they know these dogs are here to make the world a better place. An author of several books and she writes about her daily dog adventures on Facebook called Walking with Goldens. I was starting to hear from certain people that that's what they would wake up to in the morning. They'd make their pot of coffee and then they would come and read Walking with Goldens and I just do it every night and the stories come from the dogs. Dear mom, you're doing great but it's been a while. I think it's time to talk. How are you today? I am so much better that I get to see your face. I miss that <laughs> face. I miss your face too. And I'll be honest with you, um, I love doing like the FaceTime because that really helps me. But like it's dual purpose because I want to see like Lily too. Because <laughs> I'm always hoping she's nearby. And yeah. uh, speaking of, how, how is Lily doing today? <laughs> she's so good. She um, She's just laying around. She had a long walk this morning and She's just taken all the coolness in inside the house. Yeah, that's good. Well, I'm, I'm happy for her because she deserves it. She works super hard and so does Ranger. Uh, I don't know if it keeps them younger, but I feel like it keeps us younger, right? Oh, yeah. I would say it either keeps me young or makes me old. I don't know which, but one of them. <laughs> well, you are amazing also. It, you know, it takes, it, the dogs, you know, are once they get there, they are the star, you know, whatever. But you are the one who makes it happen you're the one who's the impetus for this and i hope you absolutely never forget how much you mean to so many people including me <laughs> really that's, truly that's so sweet of you to say i just view myself as the driver and holding the leash basically <laughs> they just do the magic <laughs> yes and lily will give me some much needed therapy because oh. i'll just last time i saw her i was holding her and she was even crying i was like oh my gosh mm -hmm. 
So mm -hmm. yeah, I look forward yeah. to that, but it'll be very soon. But thank you so much. I appreciate you and the dogs for all that you do. Thank you, thank you. I love you. I love you. If you want to tag along with my mom, Lori, as she walks with the Goldens, wag your tails with her on Facebook. And if you want to read her books, you can find them on Amazon. Their whole world is their human. Now, our world isn't all about the dog. We have other things going on, but the comfort they bring and the love and adoration, it's, it's unmatched. My dogs are family and um, they're, they're just very special souls. I wish I could be more like them. Mm -hmm.